Hello again. Today we're talking about cleaning the mass airflow sensor. The mass airflow sensor relies on a heated wire to detect airflow. As air flows across the wire, the wire is cooled, decreasing the resistance of the wire, and as resistance drops, the current through the wire increases. This change is detected and compared to values from the oxygen sensor to give the main computer a good idea of how much air is entering the engine. A dirty mass airflow sensor will be harder to cool just because of all of the debris on top of the sensor, and therefore it will underestimate the amount of air entering the engine. The computer will think less air is coming in, and so will deliver less fuel to match, and the result is too much air for how much fuel is delivered, and this is called making the engine run lean. You may have your check engine light come on, and when you scan for codes, you'll see a P0171 or P0174 code, which means the system is too lean. Instead of driving to the dealer and possibly losing access to your car for a few days while they wait for parts, a cheap and easy place to start is simply cleaning your mass airflow sensor. As usual, parts and tools will be listed in the description. Now let's get started. The first step will be to pop your hood. The tool you will need to remove the mass airflow sensor is a T20 Torx bit and a driver. You will also need some specific mass airflow sensor cleaner, and I always have silicone lubricant available as well for reconnecting wire harnesses and lubricating seals. The mass airflow sensor is located on the passenger side near the airbox. The first step will be to remove the sensor harness. This is always harder than it looks, so feel free to use a flathead screwdriver to carefully pry it off. Once free, you can then unscrew the two T20 screws holding the sensor to the airbox. Here's what the mass airflow sensor looks like. You can see the intake air temperature sensor here. Since cold air is denser than hot air, it's important to know the temperature of the incoming air so appropriate corrections can be made in calculating the air volume. A portion of the intake air flows into the hot wire area. Air literally blows on this hot wire, causing changes to its resistant current and voltage. The voltage is then sent to the car's computer to help with calculating airflow. The reason the wire is secluded in this plastic housing is to avoid being struck by debris that could damage the sensitive wire. Now, in order to clean the mass airflow sensor, place it on a relatively clean surface and spray it liberally with the cleaner. Don't be afraid to spray quite a bit. Uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner is mostly 2-methyl pentane, which is a highly volatile hydrocarbon that does not conduct electricity but cleans oily residues and has the bonus of being quick drying. Once done, leave the sensor so residual cleaner can drain out and let it fully dry. I would spray silicone spray on the access port to the air box to help with the air seal. Regarding the mass airflow sensor, I would also clean off the sensor connects with silicone spray. This way it'll be easier to remove next time. There is also a small o-ring that creates a seal with the airbox. I would clean this as well with silicone spray. Once done, return the mass airflow sensor to the airbox. Tighten the T20 screws, then reconnect the sensor harness, and you're done. Performing this bit of maintenance can increase fuel economy and horsepower by perfecting the air-fuel ratio for the engine. This is definitely a simple fix for a troubling system to lean code. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for tips, tricks, and repairs for Range Rover Sports and LR3s that can save you thousands over taking it to the dealer.
I post videos about once a week, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.